So I'm charging my car right now. But it's so cold outside. It's freezing. It was minus 17, 18 this morning. I don't know what it is now, but it's still freezing cold. And my car is limiting itself to 2 kilowatts. That's... It's actually less than probably 1500 watts is what it's uh, putting in the car because this is the DC side and I have other stuff running as well so that is very interesting I wonder what it's gonna look like if I go inside my car See, this is what it's pulling from the batteries this should be only the car huh it's very interesting well Maybe I'll give you guys a peek at the car in a second. How's it going, guys? It's going off good again. And we got the 6,000 watt Signeer, or Signeer, or however you say it, inverter. This is low frequency. It's on my lap. It's really heavy. And uh, the story on this is uh, I contacted them and asked them if they would send me one for review. And they more or less said no. <laughs> and uh, I said, well, I would like to purchase one then. Is there a, a way that you would give me a discount? So they gave me a slight discount on this inverter. And they sent it to me. And I had it sitting around for a really long time. Uh, I don't know, a few months anyways. And I tested it. I ran 1,500 watts and it worked. And then I took this up to my grandparents' cottage. This is actually for them. Uh, they're just using a, a 3,000 watt, re not reliable, uh, uh, SWI inverter right now. And I thought this would be sweet. It's got a built-in charger for the generator. They got a big generator, so it'd be perfect for that. Hooked it all up. Everything but the charger. I did not hook that up. Ran their house for 10 minutes. It was everything was working great. It said something like a 20% load or less on it. Then all of a sudden, pop! And I'll show you on the inside what happened um, in a second. Uh, really good company. Um, they warranted the parts, no problem. I just sent them, uh, they sent me something to fill out. I filled it out. You got to pay for the shipping for the parts, which isn't cheap. Uh, but the parts come free, so it was like 100 bucks. They ship you all the parts you need. And now I can fix the sucker. And uh, yeah, here we go. All right, this is the inside of the inverter. I believe this is the company that Ames actually purchases their inverters from. Everything looks the exact same. <coughs> uh, one thing also, this inverter was missing the bolts that fasten this huge... Uh, Transformer, it's all, it's condensating on here because I just took it in from outside. <coughs> uh, they're missing these. Uh, nothing got damaged in shipping or anything that I could see. So. Yeah. Here's the blown MOSFETs. Pretty badly. Well, maybe it might be just this bank, but I don't know. Either way, uh, these are tiny MOSFETs. It's very interesting. I'm not sure what kind of MOSFETs the MagnaScience use, but uh, that's besides the point. <coughs> they sent me this board, and they sent me this board. So I will be, be replacing pretty much everything that has to do with the input side, uh, essentially. And the transformer is on the output side at C. Let's see where does all the power come from. Uh, well, actually, power does come from this board. So I think this has something to do with the charging circuit. Um, yeah, that's what I think this is. This is the relays for the charger. So it's very really interesting. This board m might be okay. Not sure. Then again, they do have some some controlling circuitry that could be controlling the mo the board on the bottom. But anyways, we're gonna try and get this thing going again because this is not a cheap inverter. 
and it's actually a pretty nice inverter. I do like this inverter. The warranty is fantastic. Um, shipping was pretty quick. Uh, yeah, so anyways, here we go. And there it is, got the inverter back together with the new inverter boards that they sent. The old ones are here and over here. Now hopefully it lasts a lot longer than 10 minutes this time. I'll let you guys know. Alright, it's time for the test. We got a 12S Chevy Volt battery here. And I'm just going to put this there like that. Alright, good sign. Means I got all the wires in the right spot. <coughs> Fantastic. Well, another inverter fixed. This inverter was pretty easy to fix. Um, it would just replace everything. There's tons of screws, but other than that, it was pretty easy. So if you have one of these, you've ever had it fail, uh, just contact the company. Even if you're out of warranty, I'm sure they'll sell you the boards for a decent price. Um, yeah, very easy. Most people could do it. I just took a picture of the top board. Uh, take quite a few pictures at different angles so you can see where the wires go, where they plug back in, because some can plug back in in multiple spots. And yeah, seems to be working. I'm very happy. And thank you, Signier uh inverters or however you pronounce their name for sending me the parts to fix it come on focus there we go and here's the model number on the side and we're going to give this a second try and i'm going to wow this camera is terrible and i'm going to give you guys an update at the cottage once it's hooked up thanks for watching guys all right we're in the Nissan Leaf. It's, it's extremely cold outside. It's nasty. It's snowing. It's not snowing that hard, though. But it is cold. Now, let's see. <coughs> What's the car think? Oh, we, got, we gained a battery bar from charging. This, there was no battery bar before. <coughs> Sorry, battery temperature bar. Uh, we're down to seven bars. On the electric car, uh, bought it with eight, so this battery is continuing to fail. Seems like it's pretty much at the end of its life, which is very unfortunate. I didn't think it would uh, continue to die this quickly, but uh, <clears throat> well, we'll see. <sighs> see if we can get any information here. Doesn't say how fast we're charging or anything. It just says one more hour <coughs> to full. Hmm. Oh, let's turn that off. Oh, we got a heated seat on too. Actually, might leave that on just while I'm in here. Interesting. Well, I'm going to look up if uh, I have the. If you guys can see it here. If you can, I'll read that. I have uh, this uh, code reader here, and I'm gonna link it up to uh, Leaf Spy Pro and see if I can see how much power is going into the car, and all that stuff. Because this car is so old, it doesn't tell you anything. You just know it's charging, but you have no idea how fast it's charging. So, here we go.